In this video, I'm going to share seven things that I wish I knew before starting my web design agency. These are lessons that would have helped me sign my first few clients much sooner and also scale to 10k a month much faster. I wanted to break down these seven lessons in three buckets or three categories. The first is the mindset shift. The second will be client experience. And then last will be systems and scaling. So let's go to the first lesson you need to stop thinking like a web designer and you need to start thinking like a business owner so let me go ahead and explain this right here most beginners and this was me when i first started out obsess over the actual tools and they think that they need to master the tools first before setting out to land the first client but here's the thing design skills alone is not going to get you paid if that was the case if i go to fiverr and i type web design you'll see that the people offering their services right here charge 200 bucks 100 bucks even as low as i got 50 bucks i've seen right here the big shift happened for me when i started to think like a business owner so what a successful business owner does is that they focus on solving problems for a niche they learn how to position their offer in the market not just as design and they prioritize getting paid or being perfect or being masters in different tools now at this point you may be wondering how do i pick a niche and how do i solve problems for that niche i wanted to give you three different scenarios if you're a beginner as to how you can start picking a niche if you work at a clinic or a gym or at an office you can use your experience in that industry to be able to launch your services and help that specific industry because you understand their niche or their problems. In my case, I speak a second language. And when we first started out, some of the first few clients that we helped was people that spoke Spanish. So something that looks like a disadvantage, the fact that your English might not be perfect, can be an advantage because you can help or tap a specific market that other people can't. If in your case, you don't speak a second language and you don't have relevant job experience, the niche or the edge that you have is your location. Instead of being just helping every business in the US, you can be more specific, like saying that you help businesses or local businesses in California, or you can be even more specific by saying that you only help local businesses in Santa Barbara because that's where you live. So those are three ways that can help you find an edge and position your offer in the market. The second lesson that I wish I knew when I first started my web design agency is that clients don't want a website, they want results. So when a client says, I need a website, that's not really what they mean. Even if they say they do, at the end of the day, what they really mean or what they really want is a way for them to get more leads, a way for them to get more credibility, more Google reviews, or a way or a system to book clients faster. Most beginner web design agency owners try to sell or sell just a bespoke online presence. But the thing is that successful agency owners sell a prospect's desired outcome. Something that took me quite a bit to realize is that the website was just the vehicle. The real value in your offer as a web designer is in what it does for the business. So this could be something like building trust, ranking higher in Google, capturing leads, driving bookings. Following that same thread, the third lesson is that you need to deliver more than just a website. Now that you know that clients don't really want a website when they say they want a website, real value comes from giving a system or a desired outcome to a prospect. So this could be as offering a website to a prospect that builds trust, establishes authority, and helps them convert higher. It is responsive, so it helps them get traffic from desktop, mobile, tablet. It ranks higher on Google, so it's optimized. They get clients organically, helping them get more Google reviews. Even having an AI client support or booking automated system with backend automations. And at this point, you may be wondering, how is it that you can do all of this if you're just a web designer? So I'm going to break down more of this later in the video. But for now, I wanted to share with you a story about one of our clients. So this is a client that we built a $1,300 website and we did like some basic SEO for him as well. So when somebody searches his service in his city, his website shows up. Before he didn't have a website, all of his clients were word of mouth or referrals. And now he's getting clients passively without any sort of ads or having to post on social. The cool thing is that he still pays us monthly for hosting. So the way that we're able to do all of this is with a software called High Level. If you don't know what it is, I'm going to share with you or explain with you more towards this video. But for now, I'm going to go to High Level right here. You see that I have different accounts for all of my different clients here on the software. This is the actual client right here. So if I go to sites, websites, this is what the actual website that we built for him is. Now, if I go to forms and submissions, you see that in the last 
30 days. I'm going to select 30 days right here. We have quite a few prospects that are asking or reaching out to him to ask about his services. So even though he's a small business, he's not spending any money on ads or posting on social, we have actual clients wanting to book with him. For us, what this means is that if I go to Stripe right here, this is my client, I'm not sure how much I can show you, but you see that the 27th of every month, he pays us a monthly reoccurring fee. So like Alex Ramosi says, he likes to be in businesses where he gets paid today for the work that he did a year ago. So that's kind of like the case right here. That's why it's so important that you deliver more than just a website. The fourth lesson that I wish I knew to hit 10 k on sooner at my web design agency is that you need to set clear expectations from day one. So let me go ahead and explain what this means. Most web design agency owners like myself, when I first hopped on calls and was starting to sign clients, was so excited to actually sign the client that I skipped something critical, which was outlining the scope of the project. There was this one case where we started building a five page website. It was for an interior designer and the website was very straightforward, but as the project kept going, suddenly she started asking for logo design, email automations, and more things that were not included as part of the project. But the thing is, because we hadn't set clear expectations up front, we didn't define what the scope of the project was, at the end of the day, we just wanted to make our client happy, but this completely backfired. And because of the fact that we didn't define deliverables, we overworked and we missed the deadline. And more importantly, the client wasn't happy. So before you sign a client, always make sure that you clarify what is included, what is not, what happens if they want extras, how is that negotiated and so on. And of course, be very transparent about timelines and pricing. Clear expectations are going to save you a lot of pain, make you look way more professional and above all, protect the client relationship, which of course can lead to higher likelihood of referrals. The next lesson is that there's no such thing as over communicating with your clients. Now, what this means is that you never want to leave your clients or prospecting guessing about what's going to happen. This not only makes you look unprofessional, but it also creates doubt about the prospect's decision, especially in the beginning stages of the project, as soon as they made payment. So what you want to do is make sure you tell them exactly what's going to happen after they pay if you're in the sales call. And after you start working with them, you want to make sure that you give them progress updates during delivery. If you're not communicating with them, they might start to wonder if you're actually working on their website or if you've even ghosted them as well. So some examples of lines or quick emails that you can say or send to avoid this is something like this. First one is, hey, as soon as you pay the invoice, I will send you a three minute form with everything I need to get started and next steps or hey, homepage is live and we're still on track to launch Friday. Now, the thing is, it takes like 30 seconds, but it builds a ton of trust and provides a lot of value as well. This positions you as reliable, organized, worth the money, professional. If a client has to say, how is the project going? Or please advise what the next steps are, or I'm still waiting on your reply. You've already lost. So here I have a comparison. Here is a client that is not having a good time because of the fact that you're not updating them. They feel in the dark. They feel like you've ghosted them. But on the other side right here, we have a client that knows exactly what's going on with their project and is having an overall positive experience. The next lesson I wish I knew to hit 10 K a month faster is that I wish I stopped building everything from scratch. Early on, like most beginners, I built everything from scratch, new design, new automations, new client mockups, new funnels. Like literally we were reinventing the wheel every single time. Now the problem was that not only was it slow and exhausting, but it was very hard to scale as well. Now what I do instead is I have a lot of templates, section presets, duplicate the systems, and even plug and play automations that I can quickly sell and deploy for my clients. But not only that, I've been able to scale my agency past 30 K a month and deliver over 100 websites for my clients. Now at this point, I know some web designers might say, this is not real web design. You're not a web designer. And the thing is, you're right. If you remember earlier in this video, I explained that I made a transition from a designer to a business owner. Now as agency owners, we're trying to make money and that's personally how I scaled to 30 thousand dollars a month. And to illustrate my point, I want to show you this visual from Naval Ravikant. He's like an entrepreneur 
and venture capitalists. In the beginning, you want to solve via iteration. So what this meant for us is we had to do a lot of the work up front, figuring out what offers, what market, what demographics we wanted to go after. And then once we found a way to solve a problem for a specific avatar, what you want to do afterwards is find a way to productize it or deliver it in a way that's easier to scale. The last lesson that I wish I knew is that you want to make sure that you use tools that make you money. When I first started my agency, I was using tools like Squarespace, Calendly, Zenbooker, and even in my past nine to fives, I've used tools like HubSpot, Soho CRM. Then we found high level, like I just shared with you earlier. And if you don't know what high level is, think as if all of the best softwares in the market, if all of them had a baby, it would be high level. We'd pretty much replace all of the softwares that we we're privately using into one tool. And this was a game changer because of the fact that now we were able to sell systems, not just a site, clients pay us for monthly hosting of their website. And going back to the previous lesson, this software allows me to deploy everything faster with templates and productize my offer, which helps me scale faster. A concern that I had as a web design agency owner was that I was going to get replaced by AI. But the beauty about high level is that because of the fact that we can deploy AI agents, AI chatbots, we can stay ahead instead of fearing being replaced. So those are seven agency lessons that I wish I knew earlier that would have taken me to 10k a month sooner. If you want to start your own agency, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video. I'm going to give you access to our entire system. So that includes the website templates, AI bot training scripts, access to our own community. So if you're new to high level, this is the best way for you to get access to all of our systems and plug and play to your agency. Now, if you're an existing Go High Level user, you can click the second link in the description and you can buy our entire system from our store.